What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from DD TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, all of that information is in the description box below. Also, go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there and hit that little bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, now this video is for educational purposes, so as I approach this topic with respect, I need you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comment section. Thanks. All right, now this story comes out of Mississippi, although it involves a Louisiana Baptist pastor and his wife. Now, before I get into the story, let me say something that I've said many times on this show, and I'll continue to say it. Never judge a book by its cover. Just because people look a certain way on the outside, you never know what's going on in a person's mind or in their home behind closed doors. Also, if the relationship is over, listen to me, life still goes on. You don't have to hurt anyone and you certainly don't have to hurt yourself. Let's get into the story. A Louisiana Baptist pastor, Danny Purnell Jr., is accused of shooting his wife, Gabrielle Purnell, in front of their children at the Hampton Inn Hotel in Macomb, Mississippi. The pastor then turned the firearm on himself. Now get this, two days earlier, Pastor Danny Purnell posted on a Facebook page he appeared to share with his wife a photo of the two of them along with their three children. He tagged the location as the Hampton Inn Suites in Macomb, Mississippi, where the unfortunate situation took place. Now here's the post from Pastor Danny Purnell's Facebook page just two days before the unfortunate situation took place. Look what he wrote. I may not be a perfect man, but I'll always be a family man. Hashtag husband, father, pastor. Hashtag flawed yet favored. Really? You all keep in mind that that post was two days before the shooting. Wow. Now, Pastor Danny Purnell and his wife, Gabrielle Purnell, were transported to the University of Mississippi Medical Center, where they both are recovering. Now, the pastor will face a lot of felony charges when he is released, and their three children are in the custody of Child Protective Services. Now, at this time, the motive for the shooting was not immediately known. However, Pastor Danny Purnell is the pastor of Bright Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church. Take a breath. I wish you would have had the bright morning star in your life, man. All of these names, bright morning star. Where was the bright morning star, sir, that could have made you just walk out of that hotel lobby and just go for a walk or get in the car and drive off instead of doing what you did? And I say this, Pastor Danny Purnell, because you were on social media and you're always doing all these self-help and self-growth uh, posts and talking about why people don't go to church and all this kind of stuff. But all of that is about you. You need the help, sir. I told you a lot of times these people are preaching to themselves. You're on social media saying, look, at, let me read some of his posts. Let me read some of them. Let me find one of his posts. Let me, let me, here's one. At some point, after getting rid of multiple people in your life, you should come to the realization that maybe I'm the problem. People can come and go, but you can't get rid of yourself. <laughs> you must change. You hear that, sir? Take your own advice, pal. You. <laughs> oh, my God. Take your own advice, pal. You've got to change. And look at this post. People stay away from church but want to die and go to heaven. No, they stay away from your church because your church is like going to the south side of Chicago. We don't know what we're going to get. Blessings or bullets. Breakthrough or bullets. That's why people don't go to your church. This man is a total lunatic, and I feel sorry for his wife, his kids, and the people of his congregation. Now, I'm going to let you all watch this video of Pastor Danny Purnell Jr. preaching, and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. And you all know me, I'm Dawson, and I won't hold back. I tell you, I found out that God got a big oil tank. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, your tank can only carry so many gallons. Uh -huh. uh, It ain't gonna be with no weed. It ain't gonna be with no alcohol. 
blessing you. You wonder why I'm shouting. Tell somebody I'm full of something. It ain't no perk. I'm full of something else. I'm full of the power of the Holy Ghost. All right, y'all, let's go in. Now, we want to keep the pastor and his wife in our prayers, and we want them both to have a speedy recovery. We know that Pastor Danny Purnell Jr. will face a lot of felony charges for this, so I will keep you all up to date on this story. Also, keep those three children in your prayers. They were in the lobby right there when their father committed this horrible, heinous act. So those three babies have trauma in their lives now from witnessing this, and the three children are now in child protective services. So remember those three babies. And also keep the people at the hotel in your prayers too because they witnessed this. It happened in the lobby. Now we don't know what led up to this unfortunate situation that took place at the hotel. But I do know that there was another way. This situation could have turned out completely different if Pastor Danny Purnell Jr. would have taken his own advice that he so freely gives to others on his social media platforms. Now, let me talk to my subscribers and the people who view my show. We've been through this before, and I've said this several times, and I'll say it again. If the relationship is over, life still goes on. If that man or if that woman want to leave, let them go. It's not the end of the world. You will love again. You will continue to live without them. Trust me, it can be done. Some of us are witnesses. We can tell you that you can live without people that you thought you could never live without. Yes, you can. Now, I know there's some people. You may be in a situation and you're trying to get out and you can't leave right now. Make an exit plan. Start planning. Maybe you can't leave this month. Maybe it'll be three months from now or six months from now. But when you leave, remember this. When you leave, don't turn. Don't come back. You got to do what Tina Turner did. When she left, she didn't look back. Dawson, what's love got to do with it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Love has everything to do with it when it comes to me loving myself and loving my life. You've got to leave hellish situations and don't look back no matter what. Now, I'm off of this, but to my subscribers and those who view my show, listen to this. You all deserve the best. I don't know if you believe it, if anybody told you that, but Dawson going to tell you, listen to me, you deserve the best. You don't have to stay in a relationship with the person that's treating you like trash. You don't have to stay on a job or in a friendship with people that treat you like trash. They're only treating you like trash because you allow it. Remember, we don't fall in love. We walk in love. And if the relationship is over, we both can walk away without anyone getting hurt. And that's a Dawson original. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Y'all take care of yourself and each other. Support this channel everywhere you can. Speaking of that, people be asking me, Dawson, where is your cash app? All this kind of stuff. It's in the description box below the video. Everybody else find it. Why you don't? Now look, there it is right there. Thank you all who, you all, y'all bless me so good on this show. I love y'all so much. Oh, man, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So y'all take care of yourself and each other. Don't stay around people who treat you bad. You deserve the best. You can elevate your mind. Positive mind, positive vibes, positive life, man. Come on, y'all. Let's live an abundant life. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace.